Hello everyone, this is a video about this Galaxy Tab S8 in March 2023. Is it still any good? This one is coming in two variety of uh, uh, connectivity and this one is Galaxy Tab S8 Wi-Fi version and it comes also in a uh, 5G version which has the SIM card. This one has uh, uh, 128 uh, gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte uh, of RAM. But this one, uh, that is Wi-Fi version, it has 256 gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte of RAM. So, uh, I have something to mention here about these tablets when they are going more than uh, 11 inch uh, in size. So this one is really comfortable and this is my review and maybe my rant about this that uh, and, and, and about good things about this and the bad things. Um, to be honest with you, not many bad things apart from that it's very slippery and easily you can drop this. And there is no friction, nothing whatsoever to be able you to just hold on to it and somehow it is really uh, squarish and slippery and uh, you know you're gonna drop this very easily and here is for the S Pen to be charged and uh, here we have two cameras I go through the specification but there are loads of videos there that you can find about the specifications what I go through the simple ones it has the volume control and uh, here is the fingerprint sensor here and the power on and power off and here we have the memory card slot that is um, you can put uh, at the maximum of one terabyte of storage in here it's very good and it is this, this is the microphone and this is the camera here and at the bottom it is just for the keyboard i make a keyboard uh, review as well but the keyboard that is coming with the s8 is not really good i recommend anyone to just get a uh, S7 uh, keyboard which it has a uh, trackpad as well so uh, it has four speakers uh, with Dolby Atmos and microphone another mic is here and in, in general this one is the silver version which is uh very you know bright but the other one is the black version graphite black and this is the pen and i go through this pen now before i forget i have to tell you that the feeling of this on the screen is such a pleasure that you can feel that because it's a little bit you know like plastic soft plastic at the tip that you really feel that it is dragging on the glass or the screen and it has the button here that you can do certain movements uh, certain functions and commands and uh, it's, it's really not bad so I and this one is just um, go right here for a storage when you are using it and right at the back for charging. 
like so. And about the accessories, we are going to talk about uh, those accessories later on. But for the time being, you know, I'm just showing you how it performs. And I have to tell you, it's fully recommended. And as soon as you get this, you have to get a, you know, a stand for it. And uh, apart from the stand or something to protect it and avoid being so slippery. And if you see, if I don't apply any pressure, it just slides through my hand. And it's, it's very expensive as well. So the Samsung is selling this for 799 pounds, but you can find a good deal on eBay um, between 400 up to 500 or 550 and 600 pounds for the 5G version with the 256 gigabyte uh, storage or 128 gigabyte of a storage. And here it has magnet to attach to the keyboard and I show you the keyboard as well. So uh, in 2023, the screen of this, many people, they, they said that the screen is, is because it's not super AMOLED, is not really good, but you know, uh, is as good. But if you want to look at it from the angle or from the side or some, uh, uh, um, angles that you can see the um, absence of the total blackness of the screen that's that's uh, it doesn't bother me but in general the screen is not very bad and uh, is such a pity that we have to uh, select the TFL screen, LCD TFL screen, but this one it has 120 hertz of uh, refresh rate and is really uh, decent for the specifications. And uh, it has the back uh, camera with 13 megapixel and 6 megapixel, and uh, the front camera is. 12 megapixel and it is really decent and the memories uh, it has 8 gigabyte of ram and the processor is the snapdragon 8 uh, generation 1 and in in general is is a decent uh, uh, tablet that many people they are using this tablet for uh, uh, as a computer as well because it has the capability of uh, DEX connectivity and here we have just only the data and charging cable and in here we just have some paperwork and a pin for just ejecting the uh, a storage anyway it is, it is now time to turn this on and see how it goes i just show you a little bit of uh, the uh, how it operates and how it functions let me just go and get a, uh, a stand and come back I have this stand that is very simple and effective. I just put everything aside and set it up and then I come back. Here is the setting up here on the, this stand, which is very, very minimalistic, but is better than nothing for the time being. And I have purchased some sort of a stand and hubs for this that I'm going to show you in my next video. 
or maybe earlier, uh, as earliest as I get them. And uh, here is some convenient uh, point about this pen that, you know, because this screen is a fingerprint magnet and because of that it's very nice to use this pen uh, in order to get to a stuff is everything is as normal and uh, yeah, I have updated this to uh, 5.1 uh, user interface and it has uh, running Android 13 at the moment and everything is so fast and I am uh, totally utilize this uh, sidebar for everything that I use for instance, the, if you want to see the speed of this, the speed is very good and somehow uh, is really decent tablet for your everyday use. And if you want to use this as a tablet, I, I recommend to get to as a productivity uh, point of view. Uh, get a hub or some sort of USB connectivity uh, to uh, just expand your uh, productivity on this. Uh, I show you later on uh, maybe uh, one th one thing that you can add to this as soon as you get it. What I mean about the connectivity is something like this, uh, but most uh, definitely it has to be type C here. And then you can have ethernet and three kind of maybe hard disk drive or, you know, mouse or keyboard connectivity because this one has the DEX as well. And when you, uh, launch the desk is very good if you have a keyboard and a mouse handy let me just turn off one of these lights because it shines on the screen so a screen is really good but when you are looking at the side somehow the uh, total blackness of the screen is just going to have some grayish hue into it but in um, my uh, sort of uh, preferences, it doesn't really bother me because it's, it's really manageable size. You can do, you can take this to your bed and, you know, hold it without putting a, a lot of strain on your hands and, you know, is, is in general to, to me, I think, is the sweet uh, spot of the size of this tablet and all the tablets when they are getting a little bit for instance this one comes in 12.8 um, which is um, uh, tab s8 plus and then 14.6 inches for the tab s8 ultra which is really huge and you know cumbersome and you have to, you cannot hold it in your hand. You have to always put it at a stand and do whatever you wish with it. With it. But this one is, uh, I have the 5G version as well, but because I never use the SIM card on my uh, tablets. So it is, is already connected to my mobile now. Uh, wirelessly so i get all the uh, notification and everything on this one as well so this is just uh, to let you know if in 2023 you are looking for a affordable and uh, you know uh, decent tablet this one is the one you should go for and uh, as a productivity, especially with the decks. Some people, they are saying uh, this one uh, is a tablet, but wants to be a um, uh, computer as well with the decks. And, you know, uh, that is very true, but still, 
for me, it does the job. And I fully recommend this at not extortionate prices. Uh, on eBay, you can find this uh, at a, a reasonable, reasonable price of £450 with 128 gigabytes of RAM and um, uh, storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty enough. And you can expand the memory via a micro SD card. And with the micro SD card, you can just, uh, you know, uh, put uh, one terabyte of micro SD card in here. And apart from that, uh, you have expandable RAM as well. You can add eight gigabytes of RAM from a storage into the RAM system of this, which is again, plenty of uh, uh, RAM for this. It has eight gigabytes and plus eight, you are having eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM, whichever that you wish. But uh, still, uh, the eight gigabyte is more than enough. So by all means, I recommend this tablet and thanks for watching and until my next video, if you have any comments, if you have any questions about this, or if you want me to uh, make another detailed video about this and uh, uh, 5G version, please leave a comment uh, and then I get back to you as soon as I can or I will make the video for you. Uh, a little bit of OCD attack, all right, that's good. Anyway, thanks for watching and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a great time.